Eight British royal scandals hidden from the public about the Queen's cousins. The late Queen Elizabeth II's regal family has been quite scandalous. Today, we'll be turning our attention to the late Queen's cousins, shining a light on eight controversial stories that have remained hidden from public view. So, without further ado, let's get started. Number 8. Prince Michael of Kent Queen Elizabeth II's first cousin, Prince Michael of Kent, is not a working royal but used to frequently participate in public events and royal commitments alongside the late queen. An undercover investigation in 2021 alleged that Prince Michael, along with a close associate, was secretly trading links to the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, for financial gain. According to a statement from his spokesperson, Prince Michael takes pride in establishing businesses, charitable and cultural ties with Russia. Fluent in Russian, Prince Michael of Kent serves as a patron of the Russo-British Chamber of Commerce, and he was even awarded the prestigious Order of Friendship for his contributions to Anglo-Russo relations. As alleged by Channel 4's Dispatches and the Sunday Times, Prince Michael was recorded telling undercover reporters who were in the disguise of South Korean business owners that he could use his connections with Russia to bring some benefit. Apparently, the fake company wanted to hire Prince Michael as an advisor so that he could use his networks to help them set up an office in Moscow. Flaunting the awards he was given by the Russian presidency, the prince informed the reporters on a Zoom call that he would provide his royal endorsement for the fake company, House of Heidong, for a fee of £150,000. The Marcus of Reading, a close friend and business partner of Prince Michael, who also attended the meeting, proposed that Prince Michael could act as an unofficial ambassador for Her Late Majesty to Russia and make representations to Vladimir Putin on behalf of the fictional company for £10,000 per day. The deal was meant to be discreet, as they didn't want anyone to know Prince Michael was meeting Vladimir Putin for business reasons. The twist in the tale came in the form of sanctions imposed on Russia by the European Union, the US, and the UK a day before the Zoom call happened. The prince's spokesperson had to issue a statement that Prince Michael of Kent didn't rely on public funding and sustained his livelihood through his consultancy firm. He further denied Prince Michael's special relationship with Vladimir Putin, stating that he last met him in 2003 and had no contact afterward. Lord Reading also expressed his regret for making a mistake. Number 7. The late Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh The late Prince Philip and the late Queen Elizabeth II shared a remarkable marriage that spanned more than seven decades. Their union began with a fairy tale wedding on November 20, 1947, and existed until Prince Philip's death. Love has never been the primary reason for royal marriages. Traditionally, they focused more on arranging marriages between members of European dynasties to strengthen political alliances. The blood relationship between the late Queen and late Prince Philip has always been a topic of discussion, with many people speculating that they are first cousins. Well, as a surprising fact, they were not first cousins, but were cousins through multiple lines of descent. The late Queen Elizabeth II and the late Prince Philip were both great-great-grandchildren of Queen Victoria, which made them third cousins. Due to the late Prince Philip's Greek and Danish royal family roots, he had the same great-grandfather as Queen Elizabeth II's father. This common link with George VI made them second cousins once removed. Number 6. The Hidden Cousins this is one of the royal family's most hidden and abandoned secrets that came to the spotlight because of the Netflix show The Crown. Nerissa and Catherine Bowes Leon were the daughters of the Queen Mother's elder brother, John, who were born with severe learning difficulties during a time when the views of society were very regressive towards disabilities. The sisters were named imbeciles because they couldn't talk. In a gut-wrenching twist of the tale, the then 22- and 15-year-old sisters were admitted to the Royal Earlsworth Hospital with the intent of abandoning them forever. Their identity was erased as there were no records of family visits ever found. 
The royal family's Burke's peerage registered both sisters dead in 1963, when they were well and truly alive. Tragically, when they passed away years later, nobody except the hospital staff attended their funeral. The royal family was in hot waters when it was revealed that not only two, but five of the late Queen Elizabeth II's cousins were abandoned in the mental hospital. Number 5. Princess Olga Romanoff Known as the Royal Rebel, Princess Olga Romanoff is the late Queen Elizabeth II's Russian cousin known for her potty mouth, and the one who almost tied the knot with King Charles III. Her father, Prince Andrei Alexandrovich, was the nephew of former Russian Emperor Tsar Nicholas II, whose wife, Tsarina Alexandra, was the granddaughter of Queen Victoria, who was the great-great-grandmother of the late Queen Elizabeth II. The princess who defies everything associated with a typical royal is also a reality TV star. In one of the shows she starred in, Keeping Up with the Aristocrats, Princess Olga spilled the beans about potential suitors who could have been the ones to propose, and King Charles III was one of them. Her carefree and lively attitude towards life is the polar opposite of the royals, and that's what occasionally stirs controversies. She has even listed her inherited childhood home on Airbnb, where she rents the rooms and even hosts events. Number 4. Simon Bowes Leon's Crimes The late Queen Elizabeth II's first cousin removed twice, the Earl of Strathmore, Simon Bowes Leon, received a 10-month jail term in 2020 after he admitted to sexually assaulting a woman at the Glamis Castle in Scotland. He forced his way into a woman's bedroom who was attending a three-day event at the castle. Taking advantage of her drunken state, Simon Bowes Leon persuaded her to let him inside her room at around 1 a.m. at night. The victim tried her best to make him stop and leave her alone, but Simon ignored all her pleas. He made a statement after his sentencing saying he couldn't believe the way he behaved and was greatly ashamed of his actions. He was put on the sex offenders registry for 10 years and was released from jail only after serving five months. It looks like Simon is a habitual offender. In 2023, he was caught speeding while drunk driving. The Earl of Strathmore was fined £1,000 and banned from the roads for 16 months. Number 3. Racism Scandals The wife of the late Queen's first cousin, Prince Michael of Kent, is known for being a racist. At the late Queen's Christmas lunch in 2017, Princess Michael of Kent was seen styling a black amour brooch. The people called her out for wearing racist jewelry. That too when Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, who is biracial, was officially meeting the royals for the first time. Then, back in 2004, she allegedly asked African-American customers in a restaurant in New York to go back to the colonies during a dispute about noise. Moreover, in an article, her daughter's ex-boyfriend revealed that she had two black sheep, which she named after the globally famous tennis champions Venus and Serena. Number 2. The Royal Black Sheep The late Queen's cousin, Princess Alexandra, has a daughter who once held the notorious title of the Windsor family's most controversial figure, Marina Ogilvy. The black sheep of the royal family was frowned upon for her life choices. She was closely documented by the tabloids in the 90s for her posters for fetish magazines, wearing a black wedding dress, and living off government benefits. But the most scandalous event of her life was getting pregnant out of wedlock. It was reported that the then 23-year-old was given the choice of either marrying her boyfriend or aborting the baby. When she didn't want either, her parents stopped providing for her, which led her to air the family's dirty laundry in public. She also revealed that they tried to trick her to get an abortion. Upon asking her father who came first, the queen and country or the daughter, the father chose queen and country. Eventually, she had no choice but to marry the father of her child before giving birth. Number 1. Lady Gabriella's Ex 
Prince Michael of Kent's daughter, Lady Gabriella Windsor, dated a British journalist, Atish Tassir, who revealed the scandalous details of his three-year relationship with the royal lady in the 2000s. In a published article, he shared his life at Kensington Palace, described it as wildly depressing, and gave insights into traveling with the royals on commercial flight, where velvet rope was used to separate them from others. But the most controversial part was the accounts of Atish and Gabriella doing drugs and skinny dipping in Buckingham Palace's pool. This brings us to the end of our video. Do you believe there are more hidden royalty secrets yet to be revealed? Comment down your thoughts below. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.